I'm here to talk to you about uh, civic crowdfunding today because we are launching the, a new version of our platform that will be more focused about civic crowdfunding that in Italy is, a, is a growing very, very, very fast. As I said, uh, the Rev is uh, our platform and uh, um, is, um, is a platform for creative, innovative project for the community. So everything is on the Rev, is not personal crowdfunding, uh, is not something that already exists, it's always something that is creative, so art, culture and more, is inno innovative, startups, makers, or is for the community, so civic crowdfunding, no profit events. And um, uh, the Rev today is one of the main Italian crowdfunding platform because we started two years ago. And uh, I was very, very lucky because uh, it's hard to start a company for a crowdfunding platform because in a small country like Italy, you don't earn enough to pay people and to pay a company. Uh, I was very, very lucky because when I started this startup, uh, I received the first uh, investment of uh, 1.5 million of euro. And uh, in the next year, uh, I received uh, a second round investment. So I was able, I was a very, very, a very lucky startup in Italy because I was able to build a company from the beginning uh, with a, a lot of money. So I could make a good platform, uh, um, a lot of people talking about the platform and crowdfunding and a lot of uh, um, advertising and marketing also if we never spend one euro in advertising. And uh, uh, the Revis is famous in Italy because uh, uh, on our platform last year there was the, the biggest crowdfunding campaign in Italy. That uh, is the one in the picture. Uh, this is one of the most important science center in Italy. Uh, that uh, one year ago uh, was burned. There was a, a burn, uh, probably from mafia, by mafia, and uh, so there, um, we launched a campaign to rebuild this high center in Napoli, in the south of Italy, and starting from a, uh, a goal of uh, 100,000 euro, but in a few months we raised uh, 1.6 million of euro. Uh, but before to start to talk about civic crowdfunding, I want to tell you something about my story, because my story always was related to crowdsourcing and uh, uh, the crowd, the community. Uh, I was uh, born and raised in a very small town in the south of Italy, and uh, I had no money. For this reason, I always used uh, uh, the internet to share my ideas, to find people who wanted to help me to work on these ideas. Um, to make them real. For this reason, the platform is called the Rev, that from Latin means de revoluzione, that means uh, about the revolution, because the concept behind uh, the platform is to turn uh, the best ideas into revolution, uh, to use the internet to make changes. Uh, as I said, I always use uh, the, the internet uh, uh, to launch my idea and to involve the community to make them real. Uh, so I always had ideas that uh, I couldn't do alone. And uh, for, uh, for an example, uh, in, um, three years ago, I, I saw on the internet that Zynga, that is the world leader of social games, uh, made a Guinness World Record. They wrote a post on their Facebook page saying, uh, uh, we'll comment, comment this post uh, to get a, a coupon to play to our games. In this way, they made uh, a Guinness World Record, the most comments to a Facebook post ever, uh, spending uh, almost uh, 1.5 million of euro because they reached uh, 300,000 comments. And uh, I tried to, in to involve my community for the first time on, the, on social network and on my blog. And uh, I asked people, uh, let's try to do something together uh, just to see our power. Uh, let's try to challenge Zynga, uh, just in Italy, so a very, very small uh, market, a very, very small uh, uh, lot of uh, people. And uh, I created a post, and in three months, uh, more than uh, 600,000 people wrote a comment. Uh, and to, to share the power of the crowd, the post uh, 
who became that became a Guinness World Record wasn't uh, a comic video or a beautiful girl. Uh, it was just a status saying uh, this will be the most commented post on Facebook ever, and so it was. After this, uh, Greenpeace International uh, gave me a call and told me, you know that Facebook where you made your post uh, is one of the, the company that spend a lot of energy and uh, use energy made with coal, so uh, it's, it's not clean energy. Uh, we want to uh, talk with, to Facebook, we want to ask them to change their, their uh, energetic policy and use clean energy, also if more expensive that, than coal. Uh, but you can call Facebook uh, and ask to change its policy. Uh, you have to convince Facebook uh, using their own customers. Uh, so we created a campaign against Facebook uh, on Facebook. Um, and we wrote, we wrote a post to ask Facebook to become green. Um, and uh, we asked people to go to wrote a comment as I made with my record. But this time, to get the attention on Facebook, uh, of Facebook, uh, we asked people to do all in the same moment from all the world. So um, uh, we, organize, uh, we organized this uh, in, the, uh, in, in three months, but in one day from all the world, in the same exact moment, uh, 80,000 uh, 80, people went on this page to wrote a comment, and uh, the fact that uh, a lot of people uh, were there in the same moment uh, created a small crash of Facebook, uh, and uh, so Facebook, uh, we, we got the attention of Facebook, and uh, six m months later, Facebook uh, accepted to change its policy. Uh, so uh, it's two years that Facebook is using uh, clean energy, and uh, this post became another Guinness World Record, the most comments on Facebook ever in less than uh, 24 hours. Um, I was still working uh, as blogger and uh, with my ideas. And um, I saw a big editor in Italy give me a call and, and told me, uh, why don't you write a book for us? Uh, they were interested to my books. Uh, they were interested uh, uh, to my crowd because doing this stuff, uh, my community was growing. I reached one million of followers on social media. And so the editor uh, was thinking, uh, he can write everything, there will be someone who will buy the book. Um, I didn't like the idea to use my community, to write a book and say to people, uh, buy this book so I can earn. Um, I tried to do the same thing, crowdsourcing. I told to my community, I will choose a topic and uh, you will write the book with, with me. Uh, but uh, it was very hard to find a, a common topic for a million of people. Uh, so my idea was the epic fails, we can say. Uh, everyone made an epic fail uh, in his life. Um, so I asked people, send me your best epic fail ever. And um, uh, 700,000 people in Italy send me uh, more than uh, 50 thousand pages of epic fails. I took uh, six months just to read and to, to make a book of 200 pages. And this was uh, published and sold uh, more than 20,000 copies. Um, it's very hard to measure the, the value of the community. We are not talking about money, we are talking about value. It's very hard to measure the, um, the value of, of, com of, of a community, of a crowd. Uh, at, but Facebook, uh, we can use uh, as parameter uh, what Deloitte uh, was measuring uh, for Facebook, uh, the impact of the people to Facebook on the world economy. It's a very important parameter because show us the, the, the value of the, of the crowd. And uh, um, this shows also that the, the, the sharing economy and the crowd economy is growing very, very fast in all the world and is reaching and going over all other markets. Okay, this is another research from MIT 
and uh, it's more focused about civic crowdfunding. And uh, um, from this research that ended one year ago, uh, we can see that uh, donation-based civic crowdfunding are uh, um, 1.2 billion every year worldwide. Um, then, the civic crowdfunding is a, a small scale because involves just the community where the project is. Uh, but uh, uh, also in Italy, we see that uh, project, civic crowdfunding, like all other crowdfunding projects, works uh, if there is a, a specific project, not to, uh, not to fund a community or something general. You have to find a, f a, f a specific project and uh, uh, be focused on that project, focus the community on that project, local community mostly. And uh, usually, uh, in Italy, like in all uh, the world, the, the average uh, of the money raised is not very high. It's uh, 7,000 7, euro in media. And, um, but small, small amount makes big changes, and then we will see why. Um, as I said, civic crowdfunding is con concentrated in cities because uh, um, when you created a project uh, uh, in, a, in a city that involved more the, the people of that community, not, not all the, the nation or all, all the region. Sometimes, uh, um, from local, the project can be, become very, very big and uh, involve all the nation. Last point is that uh, civic crowdfunding uh, is same, same uh, highly unequal distribution of all the other crowdfunding uh, projects. Uh, so we will see that there are in the same place with the same uh, kind of problem, there are uh, big campaigns and uh, failed campaigns. On the same platform, in the same period in Italy, uh, for a similar problem, for a similar need, uh, we had, uh, from uh, one side, the biggest com crowdfunding campaign in Italy, and uh, on, on the other side, a lot of fails. Uh, why? Uh, Città della Scienza, that is the science center I was talking about, uh, raised 1.6 million of euro. Uh, I think this happened because of three reasons. The first reason was that it was an emergency not a general emergency, like an earthquake that involved all the city or all the, all, the, uh, all the place, but a focused emergency on a specific place that uh, um, was very, very deep and uh, uh, unexpected, and also because uh, uh, this was made by mafia, not a, a natural disaster. Uh, so there were a lot of um, emotional and uh, rage from the people, and uh, we tried to use crowdfunding uh, to use this, this emotion of the people to do something uh, and not just watch. Uh, the, emotional, uh, the emotional reason also uh, made a lot of testimonial to contribute to the campaign, not just with that, uh, their money, but also um, becoming ambassador of the campaign. So a lot of uh, uh, politicians uh, and important people in Italy uh, made a donation, but they made uh, um, a post on social network, they made interviews, and they made a lot of, uh, of uh, things to, to ask people to contribute to the campaign. In the same way, on the same platform, the worst, uh, we, there was um, a natural disaster in a city in Italy, Siena, in Tuscany, and um, a museum of Siena started a crowdfunding campaign to rebuild the museum. Uh, this didn't work. The museum raised less than uh, 2,000 euros. Uh, why? Three reasons. Uh, also this time because this was not a specific problem. This was a general problem involved, affected all the territory. So in that moment, uh, people didn't have 
her, her home anymore. Uh, so the museum was not a priority for the city, was the to people to find home again. Um, the, the impact uh, was uh, very, very local. Uh, in the first case, uh, the Science Center, uh, the crowdfunding campaign started from local, but then involved all the nation because people uh, and the politicians and important person um, from all the, the country started to make a donation, started to make posts, started to talk about the campaign. So this involved all the nation. And so we got a lot of donation, mostly of donation from outside the region of the museum. We raised the, the first uh, 100,000 euro in, the, in, uh, in Napoli, close and, and around Napoli. But then uh, in the next uh, weeks, all the donation came from outside. In this case, it was very, very local. Uh, people from the Siena uh, and, uh, and from the territory in that moment made a, also made a donation. They are very, very uh, motivated and they usually made, made a lot of, make a lot of donation. But in that moment, uh, there was an emergency. They were trying to find a home. They didn't have the time or the, the money to, to make a donation. So, or to become ambassador of, of, uh, ambassador of the campaign. Um, so, for this reason, uh, the campaign uh, did went, didn't go outside of the town. And uh, the emotional side, uh, newspapers, media, social network, where all, uh, everyone was talking about uh, the disaster in the city, not the museum. Uh, so, it was a general emergency and nobody focused on the museum. What we are doing uh, for civic crowdfunding. We launched our platform two years ago. Uh, our platform is a general platform because we have art and culture, uh, startups and technology, uh, politicians and democracy, sport and events, and no profit. But uh, uh, in, the, in two years of crowdfunding platform uh, uh, in Italy, that is a very particular market, and, um, we, we saw how people was reacting, uh, was using the platform. And so six months ago, we decided to uh, destroy the actual platform and uh, to create an, a new platform that will replace this platform at, uh, at uh, the end of this month. Uh, using uh, all the feedbacks uh, and all the behaviors we, we saw on the platform in two years. Uh, in two years, uh, we also, for my story, my records and more, we got a lot of visibility, a lot of, of free advertising. Um, more than 2,000 newspapers talked talk about us, and we made all, almost uh, 500 events. And so we, without do any kind of marketing or uh, advertising, we received uh, um, 18,000 projects in two years. Uh, not all this project goes online, but uh, from this we started to learn how people was using crowdfunding. For this reason, we, the new platform that will go online at the end of the month uh, will have some change. The first is to make uh, campaigns geolocated. We saw that uh, when you start a crowdfunding campaign, mostly if, if uh, it's a civic campaign, uh, the first donations comes from the community, the local community. If you don't have this, the contribution, the support of the people around you, you, you will not have the support of people outside. And uh, we, in Italy, we call the first cir circle around the, the project. Uh, the first circle around the project helps you to find uh, the, the first money, and uh, this will, um, will start the, the viral um, and the, the virality that uh, spread the project. For this reason, we added maps. We geolocated the whole project. So when you go on, on our platform, you will see the map. Uh, the, the platform will geolocate your position. So you will see your city, and everything is happening in your city and around you. Um, also, because we saw that uh, for the same project, if I don't like art, uh, I will not go on a platform to search art projects, but if I go on the platform and, and I will see my, my city and I will see that close to my home there will be an artist that is creating something, I will help him. 
Second, uh, doing uh, things that we are doing, uh, engaging uh, big uh, and real and, uh, relevant players. Um, we decided, uh, we, we saw that it's very hard to create a, cam a crowdfunding campaign uh, being alone. Uh, and um, so we decided to move in two directions. From one side, uh, we decided to involve great uh, and big uh, uh, companies. Wind is one of the biggest uh, phone operator in Italy. And so we went to Wind, but we went to a lot of other companies to, to ask them, uh, how much are you, uh, how much money are you using for your uh, CSR every year? Uh, don't take a, a part of this money and uh, use for the crowdfunding. So um, from this money, you can take uh, a piece of this money and uh, go on a platform. We will create uh, a, a page with your brand where you can choose the best project that you like and you can uh, uh, put with your brand and give them a donation. For this reason, with Wind and with, all, um, with, with other companies, we are creating uh, um, sub-platforms in the Rev, um, where every, every company selects the best campaigns, asks them to join their program, uh, they give them a lot of visibility, a lot of ad advertising, use their channel and their press office and more. And um, for every project that uh, reach the, the half of the goal, they will give them the other half. On the other side, we are involving uh, big players uh, um, in specific topics. Gifoni is the biggest event in the world, uh, the biggest film festival in the world for kids. It's like uh, Cannes or uh, Venezia or uh, Berlin. Uh, um, a, a normal movie festival, but the jury of the festival is made uh, not by 100 of critics or experts, but is made by 40,000 uh, children from tr 3 to 18 years. Uh, so it's a very, very big community. It's a leader in uh, cinema and uh, in culture and in arts. And so involved them for all, all uh, that is related to the arts and culture project because they are a very, very big accelerator with their community. Another stuff is uh, to make better payments. In Italy, we have a big gap about payments. Uh, nobody has PayPal. Uh, nobody um, wants to use credit cards on a crowdfunding platform because it's not sure. And um, so we are uh, making a new, a new payment system. Uh, where you will pay also with bank wire, but you can pay also with your phone, with a text. And uh, this will help uh, a lot, uh, uh, mostly the, the, donor, the donors uh, with um, a big age and that usually spend more money. Uh, last point, uh, we are um, spreading the word. When we started three, two years ago, uh, almost nobody knew what was crowdfunding. And uh, so we stopped marketing and we started to talk about crowdfunding, to explain on one side to the creators, on the other side to donors. And uh, so we made a lot of uh, events, uh, a lot of activities. We created the, the Rev Academy, that is uh, uh, like a Wikipedia with all tutorials, uh, suggestions uh, and video explanation about crowdfunding, how to create a crowdfunding campaign, how to manage and what to do during and after the campaign. Uh, we published also an ebook, The Crowdfunding World, and um, we was uh, nominated by the European Parliament as Digital Democracy Leader. Which are the challenges? what we have learned from the crowdfunding. The challenge is that the first is that to give a sense to a meaningful story, not, not mm, try to fund a general problem, a general project, but focus on a specific project or a specific uh, need. Um, this will help people to understand what you are trying to fund, where will go the money, what, what will be the results. 
The second point is to engage the local community. As I said, uh, um, all campaigns on our platform that are successful is because they received the first money from the local community, the, the, the first circle around the project. If you don't raise the, the, that from that people, you will not go outside, so the campaign will fail. So, at the end, what is the civic crowdfunding? Uh, it's a community empowerment tool. Because uh, also when you don't raise all the money you need, also if you don't reach the goal, uh, the, the, the crowdfunding, uh, crowdfunding campaign is a way to involve the community, to take people around something they share, it's something they care. Uh, and so after a campaign, we we give to the project also the, the list of the people that went on the campaign and uh, make a donation or ask it for a reward because it's a very, very value also for the project to, to know the people who was helping you. And it's also a value mapping tool, as I said. And uh, now I want to show you a very short video that will explain probably better than me our platform.